six months. For yours? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Farrah Hoberman is resigning off the um, development board. This is her letter. This is an offer. The deal that Ben sent about the building? Yes. 193 people? Yes. Did um, you get your stuff? I, I got it right here. Okay. I haven't been 193 is the capacity for the community room? Yeah, I see that. Okay. And I posted signs. He suggested I do that, so I put some up over there. Um, I have some requests to use the building over there. Um, the school wants to use it. Uh, for a, some kind of thing for the kids. They blow up this thing and it's to promote wellness. Um, 3 p.m. on Tuesday, the 25th of October, and they'll tear it down at 11 a.m. on Wednesday, the 26th. Do I need charging the deposit? There'll be absolutely no food, no drink, anything in there. Okay. And then the Relay for Life, gals want it again, um, like they have for the past two years. The gals of the Hudson do their with the boost and they would come and set up November 11th and have their uh, event on the 12th. Again, there's no food or anything in here. Do I need a deposit for this? Well, even if you get a deposit, it's just to check your tear up. So I know. So, since there's no food, I don't. Yeah, there's no okay. problem there. Okay. Um, I have a road crossing permit. Phillips gone today. This is from Dallas Wolf. They're laying an electrical line under the head. Blacktop. East of Hudson. Philip said he had no problem with it. Is it be just short of the Stanford Element Road? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like a quarter of a mile west of this Blacktop. Shed north of there that he's wanting to run electricity up to, I guess. He's hiring somebody to do it properly. Steve's coming today or not, but this is the um, 
a resolution to adopt the NIMS uh, program in the county, which a lot of us have already taken the courses. It's just a formality. I said we were talking Is there further education on that thing? Just what he. I don't think so from the way he's talked. If, I think we are all covered. But I'm sure <laughs> other people will have to. I think for us it's the, the 400 basic. and the 100. Yeah. And then the rest of the season we've got to go. And That's the, the resolution. Okay, I'm going to go through past resolution 2011 18. The adoption of the National Institute of Family System. I will second. Okay, it's been moved and seconded. All in favor say aye.
at least giving us a, another opinion before we just keep spending money and possibly not even fixing the problem. So you have to have an authorized Motorola to repair Motorola. person? To work on Motorola equipment. We, we utilize a uh, gentleman out of Pratt, but, but these are is something that was put in uh, not by Jeff. So everything that I think everything else that we have is is pretty much goes through Mike Tibbetts on the crowd. but he can't talk, he can't uh, work on this equipment because it's strictly Motorola. So they got you. Or they so they got you. Yeah. So we're going to see what we can um, see if we can't have somebody else at least take a look at it. We, uh, I may have to go up and visit what you call it, Motorola and maybe somebody else. Um, and then, uh, just to give you a heads up, we'll probably uh, we have a line item for phone, and um, we're trying to we're trying to get a decent deal on that. So I'll probably be coming back maybe next week or the week after with something on purchasing some phone out of the line item. And that's all I have. Quiet weekend. It was pretty quiet. Let's see what happens, Mark. Yeah, it's pretty quiet. Uh, Except for people riding off in that lake. My. Um, it used to be my aunt. She's no longer my aunt uh, by marriage. That was the gal that uh, that was killed in the explosion over in China. Oh yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, it was. I'm, it's surprising by looking at those pictures that anybody survived that. Yeah. That's pretty bad. Is it just a <laughs> just a pile of rubble? Yeah. Mm. Have a good day. Hey, Thank Steve, you. are you done? Do you have to <coughs> your vouchers in for a new model, John? No, there was some lady girl. No, we we'll probably got a few more coming. So we're finishing up, we took the wrong so we the phone phone ramp. Ramp. Really, off my credit card, I'd, I'd, I'd be cheap, and then I'd, then I'd wait 30 days to buy the next item, and 30 days we would have kind of corrected that. So well, I should we, be able we to should have done it as we went along, so if you want to bring me what you have as of now, or would you have that as another one? Well, recess. Oh, well, I'll have it done. Probably in another okay. week. Or 10 minutes. Okay, I'm going to go into executive session for non elected for 10 minutes. I second vote. Okay, it's been moved and second. We'll go into a 10 minute executive session. All in favor say aye. Aye. Okay. Now, we'll shut it off. Have you got to shut it off? Uh, executive session for how long? I don't know, 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Non elected. I believe we're going for 20 minutes. Because <laughs> <laughs> I know how these guys are. Um, let's see, it's been moved and all right. A motion. I second motion. You second. All right, it's been moved and second that we go into executive session to like non elected personnel for 20 minutes. Now we're in recess. Provides your email address. So, a lot of data entry. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we had a person from Hayes in the drawing, so she'll be coming here the weekend of the 5th, 6th of November. Um, other than that, I don't know if it was... Well, some, several people about the emails, some people didn't have email addresses, though, and, and they, you couldn't turn them away because they didn't have email. So you can sign up, I told them that's fine, you didn't have I, I always just told them to put their phone number, it was a Yeah, I, would, I, so I put their phone number down, any house, I asked their phone number or something like that. But, and uh, I, 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 I was a lot of people, I had lots, I, I was at the booth, I had lots of people come by. Good, so, um, you know, I think one of the... the Things we can do with those email addresses aside from periodic updates about what's going on in the county and want to promote Jubilee in the spring or whatever. Um, we can maybe do some type of a quick survey that asks them if they came to Stafford County and what they did, if they did, and if they spent money, how much was it, and that kind of thing. Try to try to be able to gauge what the outcome is from, from the booth. So with that, you can make loans to people that want to buy houses, build houses, or what? 
What's the matter? Is there a way? Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, because I'm still formulating thoughts. Um, that is one of the things that's developing. We have, um, you know, we're developing an economic development website and uh, have some mock-ups of that. Um, it's not live yet, but we'll have the ability to change information. You know, if I want to daily, I wanted mm -hmm. to do some type of an update. It'll be the kind of thing that. I can be the administrator for now you can, you are the administrator as well as Pat no it's no. separate it's separate separate okay the reason I'm asking this is you know I went on there and did the alumni page which I'm not an alumni I was just I was being nosy but I didn't see anything except to register okay that, that's not my question um, for example, the the form the duck wall building in Stafford. Is is there a way that we could post that if someone was interested in opening a business, you know, and the Stafford development would assist you, you know, in getting finances and so on and so forth, can that be posted? somewhere on the website that... Well, that's what, we're going to go into a lot of depth about those okay. kinds of things on the specific economic development website. Um, now, and if we it, want to put something on the county website, yeah. too, I don't have administrative control over that. We, you know... Um, so, no, we're not, we're linked or we're not linked? You're, you're talking about, are we talking about two different websites? Two different websites, which we can link. We can, you know, provide hyperlinks on them, but they are two different websites. Okay, so the economic development website is different from the Stafford County website. Here it will be. It's will not, be. Right, right, not yet. And, we're, and, we're, and we will be linked or we are linked? Definitely we will put some hyperlinks on there. Okay. I think it makes a lot of sense okay. to do that. Um, but they're separate. Um, so that, so that I can, you know, for example, um, there's a, you know, a, a, an area where we've delineated what's happening. So mm -hmm. I can put things, uh, you know, weekly. The idea is if you want to, you should try to keep things new and fresh. fresh. And yes, I can do definitely. that okay. kind of stuff. So what's what's the email ad? Or what's the website? Um, Stafford Eco Devo. Stafford E C O D E B O dot dot com. Dot com. Okay. But it's not there yet, right? Right. So one of the, you know one of the things that was mentioned, uh, I had a supplier come through last week. Um, they're out of Nebraska and they're opening up variety hardware stores, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And it was just a comment that said, you know, maybe you got someone who's originally from Stafford County that would like to come back to Stafford County and maybe they already have a business, they need a space or they need a site or whatever. You know, do you let that, is that, is that known? And I said, well, not that I know of. But, so I'm glad to hear So it's, ca the, the way that, um, the, the basic structure of it is, is we're putting categories of live, work, play, um, a business directory, and accomplishments. As those are the, the, the top of the page, the, the major categories. So, um, and I'm sure it's going to be something that we will start somewhere, but add to all the time too. But I envision the work category as having all the, the, the things about locating a business or specific programs that we have or can direct them to that could help in that area. Um, uh, LIV would have stuff in the, or in the area of like relocation, information about our schools, you know, housing, all that kind of stuff. Play would be the, the kinds of 
quality of life amenities that we have. Um, the business listing is, I think, self-explanatory. And then this came back. I, I um, gotten some, tried to survey some people's opinion on what the first mock-up looked like. And one of the ideas that was given back to me is, you should really make it really clear what you're doing by putting accomplishments right there on the first page. So it's been added. But it's, there's specific, I mean, specific ideas of tabs that you would like to see on those internal pages. Um, sometimes the blank sheet's the hardest thing. You know? <laughs> well, I just, the thing is that, that runs through my mind that we have a lot of people from out of state that, that come to Stafford County, you know, obviously to hunt, and but there may be someone who doesn't come, but you know is familiar with the area that may have a little teeny tiny one or two employee shop that hey I'm running out here three or four times a year why not I just relocate you know and we've had a lot of people from Colorado not a lot but a few people from Colorado and Texas and Florida you know come and and they've purchased a home and they live here. I mean, they're retired. But I was just thinking maybe... Did you categorize it by building space available? Or... Maybe. Or... It's really more than building space, I suppose. Yeah, and I keep thinking about, you know, the seed center. That maybe, you know, some of these kids who, who got into this, you know, and, and they one of the things that was mentioned in that meeting we went to HUD, you know, that maybe someone goes off to college and they have this successful little business, well, maybe they can hire a student, you know, and help supplement their income through college, and then when they get out, you know, they come back and they start a business and they hire two or three people, right? Yeah, I think we're, we're you know, I'm, We've talked about this before that you, know, you can't hit a home run and get somebody in here with 50, 60, you know, because where are they going to live? You know, the thing is about the housing incentive. You know, we've got to start someplace to. I, I, I agree, Woody. Um... But the thought was about the website, I think. You know, we're, we're looking at social media, and we can throw countries over by email and, and Twitter. But surely we could get some business into Stafford County by Twittering and Facebooking. And I'm working on the Facebook yeah. thing. I, mean, I, I've, I've been, I have an active site that I've been posting something on a couple times a week. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like there's my latest, latest one was the... Uh, the house that's being sold at, at auction in Stafford on 13th, it's I think sheriff sale, it's sheriff sale. And somebody said, you ought to put that on, you know, put the word out on it. So I did, I put it on Facebook. You, one, of the nice things, one of the nice things about seeing, having the administrative capacity on that, on like the Facebook site, is you can see how many hits you're getting. Like, mm -hmm. we have 105 followers right now. But I don't know exactly how this works, but you always get more people that have seen it than follow it. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. like, you know, I had a site, I had one posting, I had 500 and some heads. So, I don't know. Just kind of learned that you have to kind of, at first I thought, oh, once a week, you don't want to bombard them with, to the point that they just tune you out. Once a week, and your numbers go way down, you need to have it at least a couple of times, if not even maybe more frequent than that. Mm -hmm. So, well, another thing I was thinking about was the hunting is if, if we have some link or something to Gander Mountain and Cabela's, you know, you know, in a as far as the hunting and outdoor life stuff. They would put a link to us. They would. To mask. That's, that's what we... Yeah. Yeah. That's a good idea. <laughs>
<laughs> well, well, I, I hope just, I don't know if the fellas will go for it, but no, hey, no, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not I'm just saying how because I, I know that the people that you know are, are affiliated with, with Cabela's come out here. And you know, what how does a how does a person bring his son out here for spring turkey hunt from South Carolina? Because he was out here the year before and had a good time and wanted his son to experience this, you know. How does this happen? How do, how do these people know to come to Stafford County to hunt for turkey? Why don't they go to Iowa or Barber? Or... There's got to be something that's... And I don't know that. I don't know that answer. But... We still have a lot of work to do. Okay. All right, thank you. Good luck. Okay, we do have three. Oh, recess. Let's put them over here. Can we do that? Okay. Well, recess. Oh. Range four. Step one to arrange for step two. Um, Alicia is kind of the she's heading up our IRP, our motor carrier international registrations, and uh, she's doing a good job at that. And then plus with our new driver's license and our new motor vehicle program that we're getting, she's really got a big learning curve. But. Um, we all do actually right now. So. But she's qualified for the step raise the time period. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this effective November 1st. This is her year. She's been here one year. So, and she's doing a good job. She's a fast worker. Catches on quick. Go ahead. I'll make a motion. We, I can't be weird. No, oh, sorry. I make a motion we increase uh, Alicia D. Hong from uh, range 4, step 1 and 8, uh, range 4, step 2B. Effective uh, November the 1st. I'll second it. Okay, it's been moved and second. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. I think that's all I have now. Will you give me a copy of that when you're done? Okay, we have three bids from Mansell, Williger, and Ethan in regards to returning the concrete up in front of the courthouse, as well as uh, the curb. But I, I guess in the motion would be would to um, accept it on the, on the uh, condition that the the city vacates the alley. Is that what we're talking about? Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah, because that includes it all, would we? Yes. We're not 100% we're not sure that's happening. Or, so, uh, yeah, yeah. it would have to be conditional to that, otherwise, you'd have to get, break the, at least break the bid down. You'd have to break it in different, it's all one, under one bid, I think everything is. This, this one is. Yeah. For sure. Well, they're both, this one is not. So, yeah, I, I agree that's what we have to do. I'm concerned at the difference in the prices. That's 30% difference or more. It either means one of them is taking it, charging too much, or, or one of them is a bit different. But that's, you know, that's not unusual. What? On, the, on the annex, you know, we had bids that were with them on that big project like that, and what, within $1,500 of each other? Yeah. So, uh, but they were both there, they, you know, you have to assume yeah. that it's right, right? right? That they've included everything and that, that they were standing right there. They, they they but the, the quality of the material is going to be the same. I mean, they don't go into any detail here. They kind of just put the street to see the concrete the steel. And steel reinforcing, reinforcing that. that's really all we need to know, right? I just think so. Motion. 